So just to make sure that you're all in the right place, I want to ask a couple of questions. How many of you have done construction in your life? Re remodeled a home, <laughs> put in a pool, anything of that nature, okay, quite a few people. And how many of you have had experiences with builders where you wish you knew Tony Soprano personally? <laughs> okay, good, you're in the right place. So hold that thought, I'm gonna get back to it in about two and a half minutes, since I'm only talking for five minutes. So like all of you here, in my quest for optimal health, I've looked at, experimented with, and even embraced some conventional medical wisdoms. And um, I think that there's, we can all agree that there's no shortage of concepts and theories out there when it comes to health. But you know what? Aging is a powerful incentive to get to the truth. And I should know, because on my last birthday, I turned 60 years old. And believe me, 60 is a horrible birthday to inflict on any woman. <laughs> Aging sucks. In fact, when the Buddha went out from his rarefied kingdom, where he was protected and coddled, from the realities of life, and he saw that people aged, got sick, and died. He was so stunned that he went on to become enlightened and then become the world's first and the world's greatest psychologist, developing concepts and disciplines to help us deal with aging, sickness, and death. So aging, sickness, and death have always sucked, but now people are aging much faster than they have to, they're sicker in weird ways, autoimmune conditions, neurological problems, environmental illnesses, and they're dying. Cold, cruel, impersonal hospital deaths. And everyone in this room knows what I'm talking about because we've all gone through it with people who we care about. It used to be that when people got really old, they would develop type two diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and stroke. And now, we're seeing these degenerative diseases of aging in children and teenagers. And people of all ages are feeling and looking much older than their years. So I just want to read to you from my book just to paint a picture of what I'm talking about. Our culture worships youth and beauty and is obsessed with sexuality. Yet many people are entangled in disease, aging rapidly, wasting their life in depression and misery, and can't remember the last time they had or wanted to have sex. The tailspin begins as early as childhood these days, a slow turn that increases in the 20s, crashes and burns by the time people are in their 30s, and deteriorates into total disaster in the 40s, 50s, and beyond. So what I'm talking about <coughs> is accelerated aging. And the cause of accelerated aging is that people are breaking down more than they're building back up again. So there's nothing you can do to stop the passage of time. I learned that on my last birthday. But there's a lot you can do to prevent and reverse accelerated aging. And I've spent 15 years learning how to do that. So I want you to stay with me now, because I'm going to share a secret with you, that if you grasp this concept and you act on it, it's going to change your life forever, for the better. And it's really, really simple. The human body is dynamic. We're made up of dynamic tissues that are constantly sloughing off and rebuilding. And that's where Tony Soprano comes in. Where are my building supplies? Because if you don't give your body real whole living food every single day, your body's still breaking down. But the rebuilding, the construction is faltering. It's like you felt when you were doing that remodel and it was like, what the hay? You know, your body's standing around going, hmm. So you're breaking down more than you're building back up again. My program, which is designed to maintain the integrative systems of your mind, body, and spirit can be summed up simply as building up more 
then you break down. It's really simple. And I'm just going to interject the weight loss thing, so I'm only going to talk for a few minutes. I had a whole list of things, but I'm just going to talk about that because I know I promised it on my brochure. Um, weight loss is a really good example of breaking down more than you build back up again because when you're starving your body, your, meta your metabolism is still operating, but it's not going to be able to build bone, neurotransmitters, all the things that it does with fat. So you're breaking down more than you're building back up again. The way to lose weight permanently, effortlessly, and shrink down to your optimal body weight is to seek your optimal health. So my program is organized into 12 ultimate you skills. And the reason I called them ultimate you is really simple. Everyone here in this audience shares a common bond. We all have the same physiology. But that's where the similarities end because we're all unique by virt virtue of the fact that we have had unique histories. So you may have had an idyllic childhood, but then you got in a car accident, which left you with an addiction. You may have had an emotionally shattering childhood, which left you with an eating disorder. You may have been injured in one of the wars or went through cancer treatments or a terrible divorce. So everybody has a unique starting point in their journey to optimal health so when I say optimal health for the ultimate you, I'm talking about your optimal health. And I'd like to end, see I told you this is short, um, with another paragraph from my book just to say what I think the benefit of optimal health is. The term magnetic conjures up images of sex gods or goddesses. To me, magnetic means that you attract into your life all of the people and circumstances that will make your life tick in ways that further your goals, dreams, and aspirations. Being optimally healthy is such a turn-on and generates the magnetism that creates the milieu for sex and happiness. In other words, being healthy gives you confidence and with self-confidence you can do and achieve anything in your life.